what's very clear every time we talk to people is that the environment is the most precious thing. The message coming through loud and clear is do not damage the environment. We have a very extensive environmental monitoring program at the mine to comply with our regulatory uh, permits. What we hear is that the community doesn't necessarily trust us and the community doesn't necessarily trust the state. What we hear is that the community will place more trust if monitoring is done independently. We signed agreements with two organisations two weeks ago, Superior Watershed Partnership and Marquette County Community Foundation to establish independent community environmental monitoring of Eagle Mine. It's now live. If you want to see those agreements, they're on the Community Foundation's website, the Superior Watershed Partnership's website, and our website. It is completely open to everybody. Here's how it works. <coughs> Superior Watershed Partnership, who have been monitoring the salmon trout watershed for the last 12 years, will undertake independent monitoring. They have complete discretion as to how they do it. It's up to them. <coughs> they will monitor the mine. They'll monitor the mill. They'll monitor the transport route for our ore trucks, wherever that is. They will also monitor air quality, mon air quality in Powell Township. They will also look over our shoulder at the monitoring we already do. So it's called verification monitoring. So they will double check the monitoring that we do to comply with the state uh, permits. They can do any other monitoring they want to do. So they will be holding meetings uh, in Marquette and Barrington counties asking the community what's important for you and they'll be taking your views into account in what additional monitoring they do. They'll also be doing extensive community outreach. So whatever they find when they're monitoring will go on the website, uh, will go, um, they will publicise it, they'll put it in the media, there will be complete transparency in whatever monitoring uh, they undertake. We've agreed to fund it. We've agreed to fund it $300,000 a year. Anybody else can fund it. So any third party, any community group, any individual can also fund it. Superior Watershed Partnership insisted that our funding must be at arm's length. So our funding goes to the Market County Community Foundation. And we gave them a cheque for $300,000 uh, this week. We can't get the money out. Once it's in, it's up to the Community Foundation how and when they pay Superior Watershed Partnership. The Community Foundation is going to appoint an oversight board. That board will have five people. The chairperson will be chosen from the Community Foundation. The Kiwana Bay Indian Community will be invited to appoint someone to that monitoring board. The Community Foundation will choose three more people from the community someone with broad community experience, someone with mining experience, and someone with an environmental background. They're the referees. So if we have any differences about monitoring, we get the referees in, they make the decision. Their decision is final. So the monitoring is done by a community organisation. The referees are from the community appointed by a community organisation. Rio Tinto's never done it before, and as far as we can see, we can't see any examples of this degree of um, community independent monitoring anywhere else. So uh, I think the UP should be very proud that the UP is setting new benchmarks in community oversight and modern mining. 